Luke right. Jab, jab, right. All right, Brooklyn, New York City, Gleason's gym. We've got a very special guest in the house, Alberto Morgado, aka yeah. Cuba. Yeah, yeah, How you doing, bro? It. Welcome, welcome to the How channel. You, Thank you so much thank for your you. time. You Appreciate it. Yeah. So, first things first, the, this whole interview and this footage is about obviously you got a fight in a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to talk about that. Also, I want to talk about how you linked up with Don. And obviously your fighting style and what's next for you as well. So we'll start with Dan. Yeah. Right? We were just talking about this yeah. off camera father figure. Basically yeah, yeah. You, you even said he's yeah. more than that. Yeah, way, way. Elaborate more. on that. You need that in, in, in the in the boxing world I feel because it's like you know life life lives. Yeah. So you go through a bunch of shit up and some downs and you need somebody that's gonna be like, hey for look, sure, sure. get that shit out yeah. of here, let's go. I know what I got in you yeah. and that's the relationship that me and me me mm -hmm. and I have. Like, I feel like it, it comes like from the, the fighter too. Yeah, you know, you yeah. have to be able to accept a certain yeah, amount yeah, of criticism yeah, yeah. or be able to deal with with with, with how he trains yeah. as well. Because he's tough love, you know. Too, yeah. A lot of people sure. have and That's what I mean. Get the best out of them. That's exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. It's like you know, you have to be able to check your own ego because yeah. he will he will check your yeah. ego. Take your time. <laughs> he'll check it, and the thing is, like, he'll take you as far as you yeah. let him. You know. Right. Yeah. That's the benefits of having him as, as a trainer, as a father figure. For real, sure. honestly. Because I've been to like gym mags, I went to cops and kids and stuff, and they're good gyms. Yeah. But as far as like dealing with somebody that's like real right, yeah. and that's like, even with life and with the gym and, and no shortcuts, no bullshit, yeah. like, and all love, like, that's him. And I got blessed, like, you know, yeah. we got a strong, solid team, and, and it's just trust in the process, and you know. And it's funny because at first, I remember when I, because when I, I used to do roofing, mm. and uh, so the times didn't match. Yeah. I would, so I, was, job, yeah, I was working from six to five, yeah. and by then he was working six to like three here. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, so you would train and roofing and then yeah. training, bro. So he was like, he, I, I came in, I'm like, yo, you know, from Gym X, I was like, yo, um, would you train me? Mm. They watched me shadow box. I was just about just like, to ask you, how did you link up with him? So you came yeah. in, and you just kind of. He used to train um, some kid that I used to spar, Harris uh, mm. Bullet. Okay. Barbara, he was a pro too. Mm. He used to train him, um, and I used to spar him in the amateur days. Mm. And um, Harrison told me, I was okay. looking for another coach. Okay. Harrison was like, yo, come with Don. Don's yeah, the real deal. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely the, the heart and soul of these. Yeah, gym, yeah, because yeah. when he's not here, you can feel it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, That's true, yeah. yeah, he almost wanted to just go Which home is very rare when he's not here yeah, too. Yeah. It's like, it's like he's either out of town or, or out of yeah, flight, yeah. you know? If he's not here, you know where he is, because yeah. it's like, damn, where is he? Yeah. Guess why we're kidding? Yeah, and there was a one time I was like, ah, oh, Don's not here, and then he pops out from the office because he had yeah. a little sleep because he's yeah. here all day, yeah, training yeah, yeah, all day. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen anything like him. No, no. And I met him almost 15 years ago, and he's the same energy, yeah. same intensity. Yeah. Like from the second I walked into the gym to, to today, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm like, wow, he hasn't changed. If anything, his intensity is getting more. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, he yeah. loves. He loves training exactly. and he loves his fighters. Yeah, 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 you know, that's yeah. really important. That's what Back takes that it so far. Figure. That's what takes it so far because he loves us all. And like mm -hmm. everything that he does is for like the right reasons to Absolutely. benefit you. Absolutely. You know? like, he doesn't want us to take too much punishment. Mm -hmm. He wants us to yeah. train the right way. Like yeah. for me, like I had a back injury and he taught me like listen to your body. Yeah. Because me, you could, he could tell you, like, you got to kick me out of the gym. Mm. And yeah. he's always like, yeah. yo, he's like, yo, listen to your body. Don't overdo it. Mm. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. You know, I was going to I was gonna say that, too. Like, leading up to this, I was, I, I watched you train. I'm like, you train hard, bro. Yeah. And I'm like, you, you're, you're the fighter that needs yeah. to be told to, like, yeah. stop training. 
That's a that's yeah. a that's a beautiful gift, bro. It's a like, blessing and a curse. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse. Because if you don't listen to your body, like you know, yeah. sometimes you'll tweak something or like like mit, like for instance, if you're going from fight to fight to fight and a fight gets canceled, mm. you're still in like camp mode. Your mm. body is not to oh, say burnt out, but your body's like yeah. already turned up and everything. So like you could pull something, you know, like you could injure yourself. Mm. Mm. And if you was just to listen to your body or like mm. your coach, for instance, to be like, yo. Nah. I suppose it's a, it's a fine line because you, you want that warrior spirit too. Yeah, You're like, yeah, no, I'm not yeah, her. I'm not, yeah, I'm not her. All yeah. that stuff because that is definitely a thing. Yeah, mind yeah, over yeah, matter. Yeah. But you push it too far, right. it could be a negative thing. Yeah. You know? That's the fine line that you want to draw when you're in the fight. Mm. Because that's when it doesn't really matter. Good point. Good when you're in the fight, you pull that fine line. Like, it is yeah. what it is. And, you're, and, and, and he'll tell me the same thing. Like, yo, when we're in there, all hell break yeah. loose. But when we're here, we're training so that that way we're doing that in there. Like, you know, we're ready to go in there. Do you, do you think there's such a thing as overtraining? Mm. I know because I've thought about this and I think maybe there is, but I don't really know because I, I have never trained like you, really, for a pro. I don't... Do you I don't know mental? I, it, it definitely is mental because when you when, when, when you mentally, you're like, I'm ready for the fight, I'm ready for the fight, I'm ready for the fight. And then when it's time to fight, it something happens and doesn't go through, then you're just like... Like you're like you're like more mentally burnt out than you are physically because yeah. your body could go at least my body could yeah, go yeah, yeah, and I yeah. speak for like I'm pretty sure all of the fighters like when you're when your mental is not there it's like mm. you're just oh, like, yeah. on, like yeah. it's like riding a bike yeah. you already know where you're going but your like mental's mentally, not there you are just there yeah, you're done yeah, basically yeah, yeah. Pre, before the fight and during the fight if you're mentally not there then you know you, you've lost the fight yeah. really, basically. it happens a lot when you're up and coming because like fights get canceled or certain things happen people pull out injuries yeah. and stuff and you have to stay active because the inactivity is what kills you in boxing mm, yeah. I feel for sure for sure did you did you have a fight canceled recently yeah, yeah. Did, right? it was like two of them we were supposed to fight uh, May 25th in Guyana mm. then it got pushed back to June 26th and then it just so in they, that, I in guess that, they pulled out I don't know what happened in that situation how, how, how do you deal with that in the sense like do you do you get frustrated or does yeah. it help you because you're like wow okay I did a lot of training that's never gonna leave that's always in the bag but at the same time it's like damn I was ready to fight yeah like, it's, how do you it's, frust it's frustrating but I'm blessed to have like the great team that I have with him because we got him we have Mama Bear which is she's like she's she's the Mama Bear of all of us like, she, she talks to us and we're all a group so yeah. you know it's all happened to us yeah. and they're like for instance like for me like Speedy Khalid you know like they they all have like 10 plus fights they have so much experience yeah, sure, sure, it's sure. happened to them like, yeah that's true and then even in here like uh, Mick, Slick Mick you yeah. know like they, they've all had fights cancelled on yeah, them true, you know true, so it's true, like that support we all have like a nice little support here where it's like if Yo, like, you know, like, everybody will pull you and be like, yo, like, don't worry about it, man, like, you know. Like, and it's probably, like, it's, it's definitely going to happen at some point, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. It's like, it, it, I guess it's experience yeah. to some degree. Yeah. Like, you know, later on, like, how do you deal with it? Because yeah. even as a, when I thought as an amateur, that happened to me as an amateur. Yeah. It was yeah, weird, yeah. but I was like, oh, this is annoying. Yeah. But it, it's just, it's experience. You yeah. have to deal with it. Because yeah. there's nothing, there's, like, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> and it's definitely hard on a big thing. Yeah. That's what Don says. He's like, you know, like it's it's better for us to learn how to deal with it now because yeah. we're up and coming sure. and stuff. Because that way, when it's on a bigger stage, it's gonna hurt more. But it's like it's happened already. So it's yeah. Like, because it's not like we sold tickets, made no, promo, no, no, no. Done yeah. all this other stuff. Because yeah. then that's like wow, like, different type of pressure. Yeah, yeah. Coming yeah. from different angles that yeah. I didn't even think about. To be honest. Yeah. And like you, you've got a fight in VR yeah, in a yeah. couple of weeks. Yep. So talk to us about how it is fighting abroad. Because I remember I was talking to you a few weeks ago, and you know, you're saying you, you actually have to pay to fight in yeah. America. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you got to pay to fight in America. You got to yeah. pay to fight in Mexico. <laughs> you got to pay to fight anywhere. <laughs> yeah. You know, it sucks because like, like crazy. Right? Like, yeah. Crazy people, fight. Yeah. People think like you know, you're a boxer, you make mad money. Mm. Not necessarily. You know, like I have, I have like two amateur fights. I have no amateur background, so it doesn't help me at all. Because when you have an amateur background, obviously it helps you. You have people that have seen you. You have people sure. that want to invest. So it's like it's an easier, it's an yeah. easier like push. You might have a the name if you're yeah. you, you a standout amateur. Yeah. Yeah, people know you, you know. Yeah, yeah. And now, as opposed to when you don't, now it's like you have to like go through ways and kind of like just like 
vouch for yourself, believe in yourself, and be like, yo, look, nah, boom, like, all right, how much is it? Okay, I'll, I'll pay, and don't worry, don't worry about it, like, we're gonna get it. And then little by little, as you go, like, getting wins, getting wins, mm-hmm. then people see you, and they're yeah. like, okay, and he's good, I need him on my car, I want him on my car. And back to, what, back to Don, what, what he was saying, is like, about the conversation of how, like, fighters these days have to promote themselves very much. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, with social media and stuff like that, and that's like, on social media I try to but it's hard bro like yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm from the 80s and I'm, I didn't grow up on all this stuff so I'm like, man, I can't imagine as a fighter you have to when you don't really want to do it like, yeah. you have to kind of thing right? see me I'm I'm not gonna say 80s I'm not 80s but I'm like no. 5 I grew up with like, I'm giving my age away yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm 90 <laughs> <laughs> no, no I'm old bro I'm old yeah, I'm 95 and I grew up with everybody yeah. older and like mm. all, all my like Brothers mm. in 35. I did 32. not have you down as 95. Yeah. Oh, you mature for yeah. what's that? 28. Yeah. Nah, I grew up with like older older friends, like just older mentality. Yeah, for like, sure. So I this social media thing for me is like, I don't know, it's like it's not as natural. Like I'm no. definitely kicking through it little by little, you know. It's a good word, natural. It's yeah. not natural for me. Because the way that I look at it is like back then, right? Like you have um one of my favorite fighters, Roberto Duran, Julio Celo Chavez, like, even even way before them, like Azuma Nelson, Jeff yeah. Fennec, like there was no social media, you know? Uh-huh. There was none of that. Like, uh-huh. What it was is just their yeah, hard yeah. work and their skills got them to like there wasn't even I don't even I don't even know if there was computers and stuff back then. Like, you know, typewriters and postcards and all that <laughs> stuff, like, you know? And their name got out there because they worked hard and they did what they have to do. Like, and you know what? Actually that's a good point because Actually, some fighters can actually get by without having as much skill. Yeah. They can have skills doing social media and have a following that way and have a big. If you can put bums in the seats whatever way, then promoters don't really care. Yeah. That much. No, but it is, it is, it is. It makes us, it, it's, it's a big, big deal nowadays. Yeah. If you have that following, you know, it'll be easier to get sponsors, it'll be easier yeah. to sell tickets, you know, because there's like, I can tell you, I know, like, Two, three thousand people. Mm. What? Well, who's to back that up and uh, say that? It's just yeah. my word. Yeah, right? yeah. But now, if I have ten, fifteen thousand followers, yeah. I, I definitely know them, yeah. or so to speak. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, so the question is, getting those followers to either to tune into the fight or come yeah. Yeah, and support. Because when it comes down to selling tickets and stuff, you know, everybody will tell you, yeah, yo, let me know, let me know. And then, like, either they want it free or, like, they don't understand that, like, we make a living out of the ticket sales, you know. Like, yeah. We have to sell the tickets. We can't just give them away. Which, which in itself is a hustle alone. Yeah, yeah, You can't yeah. just go, okay, you have to actually go up to people and, like, people that you know, that you want to come to my final. Yeah. So you have to do that, right? Yeah, yeah. Because come the promoter to... will tell you, look, like, X, like for instance, an example. Hey, look, I'm going to give you $5,000 worth of tickets. You have to sell them. You'll get a percentage, mm. but now if you give most of that away and you're coming out of pocket, like, yeah. you know, like, how are we really actually working? The struggles of a yeah, up-and-coming yeah. boxer, man. That's why I wanted to catch this interview as well. On top of Promoting it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we got yeah, a little. Speaking of social lot, media, lot, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna definitely get this out. I've got a piece of music I'm gonna put with a lot yeah. of the pad work that you guys yeah, are gonna yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. So make sure you leave a work, comment and work, hit the work, like work. button as well. Definitely do. But before we go, I just want to just um, catch on your style. How would you describe yourself as a boxer? Well, well outside of working like, really hard. I want to say like a like a Kodo Zepeda. Let's go, jab, jab. Yes, sir. Double it up, triple it up. Yeah, yeah. Zapata. William Zapata? Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I've seen you spar a bunch yeah, of times yeah, yeah. and like you're not necessarily always going full throttle. You know? No. You guys no. are yeah. actually learning spar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. Because yeah. like there's levels, you know, like with different levels of, of opponents. Mm. You work, you can work on certain things and then like you can always work on things but to mm. a certain degree like to like a 50, 80 sure, sure, and then no, when you fight hard, it's always hard sparring. To be honest, it's like really doesn't you don't really learn that much. You might learn a bit about yourself and this, right. but you, you could you could actually 
take a lot of years off your career to be yeah, honest yeah, 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 because that's it's dumb, you're going backwards, you know, you're not really learning, killing yourself in the rain. No. You want that experience when you're actually fighting with yeah. eight ounces on. Yeah. <laughs> that's really Honestly. when you want to do it. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. That makes no sense. And that's it's hard to simulate it. But he has the drills that we do is they're amazing. We have tire drills. Can you can you elaborate on that? Because I would I feel like with some of the clips I've got, there might have been something that I can bring into show right now. What would you so say? So we have like like tire drill, which is like foot on foot action basically, okay. like and you can't get out of a tire. So it's oh, like, the tire, right? Yeah. I the tire. And it's yes, kind of like a roll, rumble that. type of thing. It's, it's like inside, thirty seconds all, all in. Another guy comes out, another guy comes out, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. That, yeah. And it'll simulate it because a lot of, like, you know, like, when that bell rings, you want to, like, pace yourself, but you want to be able to give your all, right? mm -hmm. like, and be good on the inside. Mm -hmm. And we practice slipping as well as we practice going you, you, you actually really good on the inside. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I love that tire. A, really yeah. good, that's a really good comparison actually Koto is a pay yeah. yeah he's a boxer puncher yeah. he's a boxer puncher but in the inside Swim. he's really good Swim. yeah he's yeah, a yeah. pay did you like, see him fight the other day yeah, yeah. oh my god he's oh actually god. gonna be a massive yeah. problem yeah, like yeah, 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 he yeah. might even get the better of yeah. yeah. I mean Shakur Stevenson might might I don't think he will I don't think I don't think he'll fight him though I don't think he will fight him no but I don't think so because he's, he's a nightmare for anybody. Yeah, right? like, yeah anybody. Yeah. Like I think Tank might might yeah. just be able to finesse him, but even not him. right now. Tank is like a big name, you know. Tank is a big name. But if, they fought, coming if, they fight, if they did fight, yeah, yeah. Who, yeah. who, who would you who would you pick? Because uh, Tank's so smart. Yeah, yeah, Tank's I mean. so smart, and Zepeda still has a lot of room to like, grow. He's still growing. It's the IQ that would be the difference. Yeah, yeah. And he could probably I, I keep so. him more honest than most dudes because he's, he can crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And he, but then Zepeda got a chin too. Like so he's got that warrior in him. So throws 100, 120 punches yeah. around <laughs> and they all gas like they're all gas it's not nothing pity patty nah. it's all it's all that guy's an animal yeah yeah he must train so unbelievably yeah 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 like i can't even i think remember. he's like in cali right or something like that like cali or la i don't know where he is but i didn't just he's always like running mountains and stuff like that he might which be is Mexico really really good his actually do you know what his trainer used to train um super matias Oh. And he just, Matias just, he just let, they just part ways. And he trains a oh, beta too. Lost, really? Yeah. I'm actually going to go home today and make a video about it because yes. I only found out about it yesterday. And I was like, damn, it's like, you know, fighters leave trainers over a loss. It's like, I don't know, man. I feel like that, that, that a loss definitely shouldn't define your relationship with your coach. Like, yeah, no. If you, yeah, you never know else. exactly what's going on, yeah. but it, 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 it tends to look really bad on a coach that's probably done really good for you. And it could, but it, it could also have been looks bad on the fighter too, because yeah. it's because it's like, do you really have that like relationship with yeah. your coach? Like, are you really like loyal, or, like mm. down to like the grit to mm. stick through with it? Because at the end of the day, even in there, like you have to be able to like listen to your coach mm -hmm. when you can't like whenever if you're getting frustrated or they figured you out you have to listen to your coach because he's the third eye he sees what you don't yeah so if i mean i guess it, it just says it just says a lot like, for the fighter and the coach too and the, the 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 relationship between a fighter and a trainer the bond is so deep yeah like it's like it's hard to explain for someone that hasn't ever fought or whatever level yeah. it's how much yeah. or whatever connection you have even if you're not sparring or whatever yeah. There's like a, a real bond. Yeah. And yeah, I'm sure the higher up, the more you fight together, yeah. like it gets thicker and thicker. But yeah, because you're trusting him yeah. with your life. You yes, know? Like, literally. Honestly, you're trusting him with your life. <laughs> literally. Because, you know, aside from like having family and like jobs and things like that, like you, like for instance, like me, like I put everything around, like everything is around my box. Mm. So like I come in here and I throw my thousand, I'll go to work, maybe give it like a 50. Mm. Then after work, give it another thousand, like a run or whatever. But yeah. everything is, everything goes around the boxing, yeah. and it's and honestly because I trust this process, I trust him, and I trust yeah. everything that we're doing. You know, like yeah, no, I mean, you need that for sure, yeah. bro. That's like a, be a beautiful that. bond. Well, look, we'll wrap it up here. If you got anything you want to say for the fight to anybody that might be tuned in, tell them what you're gonna do in a couple weeks. Don't blink. <laughs> Don't blink. Don't All right, bro. Blink. Don't go to the bathroom. Yeah. Tune in, please. Yeah. Please tune in and definitely follow him. Follow Boxing the Edge. Follow Don Saxaby yeah. and, and, and stay tuned. This man is he's great. He's, <laughs> he's about to put something up. Watch. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'll leave his Instagram. Go follow him on there, and yeah. I will keep you guys posted about the fight in a couple of weeks as well. Support 16 days. That's it. Kill time. That's baby. it.
Let's go. We're out of here, bro. Appreciate Thank it. you. Thank you so much. Boxing. Boxing.